Hello everyone, welcome to Speedway Motors Tech Talk. My name is Joe, and we're here today with Lake Speed Jr. from Total Seal Piston Rings, and we're gonna talk about leak down testing. First of all, what is a leak down test? Well, this is actually a differential pressure gauge, and it's a great way of knowing whether that junkyard LS you bought was gold or fool's gold, because it can tell you the health of the cylinder. It, so that's gonna be the health of the piston ring, the piston, and or the cylinder wall. You won't know which one is hurt, but if the leak down is very low, you know it's good. If the leak down is very high, there could be a problem. So, so how do you do a leak down test? Well, it's pretty easy. So you're gonna need 100 pounds of shop air is the easy way to do it, because basically you got the air pressure going in, so that's what the first gauge is. Then the second gauge is gonna be the pressure going through the cylinder. And we do that by putting this line to the spark plug hole. What you wanna do is make sure that the piston is at top dead center, both valves are closed, or all four valves are closed, depending on what kind of engine you're building, right? So in this case, it's a two valve engine, both valves are closed, piston's at top dead center, our hose is in, we're gonna hook up our shop air right here. And then I gotta dial my gauge. We're gonna dial it all the way up to 100 PSI. That way, the math is easy. You can do it at a lower pressure. The math is a little bit harder, right? To know what percentage it is. So now what we'll do is we'll hook up this one right here. And the gauges say, as I suspected, so we gotta turn this one back up to 100, right? So boom, now we're at 100 PSI going into the cylinder, but my differential pressure says I'm only about 70%. So, this brings up an interesting question, Joe. At 70%, that's 30% leakage. Is that just worn piston rings? Or has this engine been sitting so long that all the oil has drained off the cylinder wall? Of course, also, you know, piston rings have an end gap. So, to allow for thermal expansion. So, the best way to do a leak down test is actually when the engine is hot. It's been running because you know you got oil on all the surfaces because oil is a gasket. It's not just a lubricant, it's a gasket that helps it seal. So if you know you've got the engine warmed up, there's oil in all the parts, the rings have expanded, that's going to be your most accurate number. So in this case, 30% isn't necessarily a giant red flag that you've got fool's gold. It just means that I, you probably should investigate a little bit further. Is it just worn rings or is there a bigger problem? Now, typically, if there is detonation, you burned a hole in the piston, it's gonna be way higher than that. Mm -hmm. So this isn't a bad sign, but for an engine that's been sitting on a stand, it's cold, who knows how little oil is left in the cylinder wall, what the condition of the cylinder bore is, it's probably not actually a bad result. So what could you learn by doing all of the cylinders then? Well, that's a great question because Let's say we did all eight cylinders and they were all at 30%. Okay, then that gives you an idea that they're all pretty much the same, which means the condition's probably pretty uniform. But if you had one that was 30, but the rest of them were only 10, ah, <laughs> there's a problem that needs to be solved here. So are there any other variables that you need to take into account here? Well, actually so. If you're using a gapless piston ring, your numbers are gonna be a bit different in terms of what's healthy and what's not. Because with a gapless ring, there is no gap for thermal expansion to let it leak. So typically the leak down is gonna be much lower, usually less than 5% with a gapless ring. I mean, sometimes it's 0% with a gapless ring where things are good. But if we had that 30% leak with a gapless ring, that's an indication there's a big problem because they just don't have the same leak that a normal conventional gap ring does. So a leak down tester is a great way to sort of ascertain your engine's health without pulling anything apart. Absolutely, it's a great way to know the health of the engine without having to dig into the engine or even take it out of the car. You can do this in the car in most cases, so quick, easy way to know the health of your engine. All right, thank you, Lake. Thank you, everybody, for watching.